Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by using three different ways. By using quadratic formula, factoring, and completing the square method. And here is the first method we are going to solve by using the quadratic formula. And here is the quadratic equation. And we are going to use this quadratic formula as you can see on the right hand side. So in order to find out a, b and c values, we are going to compare our given quadratic equation with the standard form as you can see over here. By comparing these two equations, we can see that our a value is 1, b is negative 2 and c is negative 24. And here is our quadratic formula. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. x equal to minus and b is negative 2 plus or minus the square root of b in our case is negative 2 square minus 4 times a is 1 and c is negative 24 divided by 2 times a is 1. Let's simplify it. Negative and negative become positive 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 2 square is positive 4 and this is going to become plus 96 divided by 2 so this is going to give us 2 positive or negative square root of 100 divided by 2 and we know that uh, the square root of 100 is 10 divided by 2 this is our x equal to and now we are going to split these two signs separate them positive and negative as we are running out of space on the left hand side we are going to move on the right hand side I can just simply split it up I'm going to put down 2 plus 10 divided by 2 and the other one is going to be a 2 minus 10 divided by 2 once again one with a positive sign and one with a negative sign so this is going to become 12 divided by 2 so x equal to 6 is one of the solutions on this side that is going to give us negative 8 divided by 2 that means x equal to negative 4 is another solution and thus here is our solution set and that is our final answer and now we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by factoring a method. So whenever we are doing factoring method, we are supposed to put down two parentheses to factor this one and set it equal to zero. And one thing more, just keep in your mind that our leading coefficient is one. And here is our next step. We are going to write down this right hand side, this constant number negative 24 on the top of this x factor. Negative 24 is going to go on the top. And this middle number negative 2 is going to go at the bottom of this x factor. Now we are going to find the factors of this negative 24, the possible factors are indeed is going to be 4 and 6. Let me just write down over here 4 and 6. Now we need to fix the sign and we know that we are going to put negative 6 and positive 4. And these are our two factors. If we multiply these two numbers, we are going to get negative 24. And if we add them, we are going to get negative 2. Now let's go ahead and find the factors. The very first step is let's put down x in both of these parentheses on the left hand side. And then we are going to get this factors. The first factor is positive 4. 
I am going to write down positive 4 in the first parentheses and then we have another factor is negative 6 that is going to go on this side. So that's it. We are done with the factoring. Now since these two factors equal to 0, I am going to split them. I am going to put them, separate them. x plus 4 equal to 0 and on this side x minus 6 equal to 0. That means x equal to negative 4 is one of the solutions and x equal to positive 6 another one. And thus here is our solution set and that is our final answer. And now we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by completing the square method. So the very first thing to do this process, make sure that only x variables must be on the left hand side. That means this constant must go on the other side. So we are left with x squared minus 2x and on the right hand side this negative 24 is going to become positive 24. The next step just keep in your mind that our leading coefficient must be 1. It is already 1 so we have no worries. And here is our next step. Let's focus on the coefficient of x which is negative 2. We are only interested in this part positive 2. Don't worry about this negative sign. I am going to put down that numbers 2 right up here. I am going to divide this whatever this number we got by 2 always. So 2 divided by 2 is going to give us 1. And the final step is we are going to take the square of this one. So whatever we got this number 1 square I am going to add on both sides of this equation. So let's go ahead and do that one. I'm going to put down x squared minus 2x and then I'm going to put plus and then I'm going to put some space 24 plus. And now I am going to write down this number 1 square on this side and 1 square on this side as well. And now on this side over here on the left hand side this represents a perfect square and now we are going to use this fact a minus b square equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. That means this left hand side could be written as x minus 1 square equals to on the right hand side 24 and 1 square is same as plus 1. So thus we got x minus 1 square on the left hand side equals to 25 since we want to solve for x. So we are going to undo this square by taking the square root on both sides and this square and square root they undo each other they cancel each other out. So we are left with x minus 1 equal to square root of 25 is going to become positive or negative 5. Why this is positive or negative number? Because we are dealing with the quadratic equation. So all right. So the next step since we want to solve for x we are going to move this negative 1 on the other side. So we got x equal to 1 positive or negative 5. And now let's go ahead and split these signs. One with the positive, the other one with the negative. So once we do that thing that is going to become 1 plus 5 and the other one is going to be 1 minus 5. Once again one with the positive sign and one with the negative sign. So 1 plus 5 means x equal to 6 is one of the solution and here x1 minus 5 is going to give us negative 4 is another solution. And here is our solution set and that is our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.